Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Sierra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this beautiful summertime, soft, glam, glowy makeup look. I've been inspired by all the posts that I've been seeing and all the recreations of the Alexa Demi post, which is kind of like the fox eye wing liner look, um, as well as just like we're moving into summertime. This is like my prime time for glowing skin. Your girl loves to look glowy, loves to have a bronzy eye, something that's super simple nothing that's too crazy and too hard to recreate on a daily just because it is so hot outside especially here in Vegas so we don't want nothing too complicated and we still want to look cute so I definitely am so excited to create this look with you guys I am obsessed with how it came out and I hope that you guys are too for this look I'm gonna be using my Jaclyn Hill palette now this is not the original packaging I had just took mine out and put it into a Z palette so I'm going to be linking all the different shadows and everything that I'm using in the description down below so you guys can feel free to check that out but if you guys are interested to see how I achieve this beautiful glowy makeup look then make sure you guys continue to keep on watching so before we start this look of course we have to prime the eyes now for my base today I'm going to be using the P. Louise Mama Ma Mitchell acid rain paints in the shade blank canvas I have been loving this guy um, as a base on my lids it is super thick full coverage and it literally just holds my shadows all day long so this has definitely been my go-to now if you guys are interested in hearing like my full in-depth thoughts and reviews about these guys because I know that they are fairly new you could definitely check out my recent graphic liner video I definitely talked about like the consistency in comparison to the original eyeshadow bases and um, how much I have been loving these paints and how I use them and what I really think about them So definitely feel free to check that out. I will also link that down below But as you guys can see like look at my eyelids <laughs> Literally a blank canvas Now me personally, I love to set my bases no matter what just because I have hooded eyes So I'm taking a little bit of the wet n wild translucent powder And I'm just gonna go ahead and set my lid before we go ahead and apply the shadows I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of scotch tape just to keep it simple for me. I want a really nice clean line on my edge. Yeah. Secrets, little secrets I'm sharing, okay? I'm just kidding. That is definitely just an easy way to give you a nice clean edge to your makeup look. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into my palette and I'm going to be taking this transition shade right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this on a Morphe 518 brush and I'm just going to go ahead and dust this in my crease. And I am using very, very light windshield wiper motions and going in circular motions back and forth just to create a very nice seamless blend. You definitely want to make sure that you're bringing it higher so that you get that nice blown out look when you remove the tape. In the shade that's right next to it right here. I'm probably just going to link these shades on the screen just so that it's easier for you guys to follow. And I'm going to take it on that same brush. This one's just a little bit warmer and I'm just going to focus it on the outer edge. As you can see, I'm just pressing it right here and then I'm bringing it up into the crease. But I'm not bringing it all the way in the inner corner. So you just definitely want to focus it on an outer V. Press to pack on pigment. And then work it up into the crease. You still want to make sure that we are just dragging the edges out. So that this is just really nice and blown out. So I'm going and dipping back into that first shade. Which is a little lighter than the shade that we're using now. And I'm going right over it using the same brush. And just blending them both together. I'm focusing a lot of the warmth on the outer corner. I'm taking the brown shade on a Morphe M562 brush, which is a very tiny blending brush. And like I said, I'm going to focus this on the outer corner as well. These shadows blend like a dream. Like, I just, I love this palette. I gravitate towards this Jaclyn Hill palette all the time. It's a staple in my collection and it's definitely a staple in my freelancing kit because there's so many different tones, undertones, pops of color and I know that she came out with a 
volume 2 version which I am so excited to get my hands on. Really the work is when you're just blending. <laughs> blending, blending, blending because I'll just be here blending forever. So I'm going to go ahead and back in and take blank canvas on my P. Louise brush and just go over the lid area. I'm kind of like creating a faux cut crease if that makes sense. So I'm working this in my natural eye socket so you see how like I'm looking straight and I'm looking at my mirror if you guys are wondering when my eyes open you can still see the white so that's why I'm working it like this you just want to blend it over into those brown shades I just love how tacky this gets like it's ready to put my pigment over top of it and when you pat 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 it really does help with the tackiness. Okay, so now that we have our lids blinked out, let's go ahead and pop on that beautiful gold shade. So I'm gonna be taking my Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter. This is the Nubian by Juvia's in Neferiti. I love this highlighter. It's like that perfect summertime gold shade and it is so pigmented. And if you guys have never used highlighters for your eyes, you guys definitely need to start because it is a game changer. It is so, so pretty on the lids. So let's go ahead and wet our brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. I'm gonna take the highlighter, it's on the back of the cap. Pop this on. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yes, honey, yes. Look at me just talk about it. Ooh. And we're just placing this right over where we put blank canvas. And we're blending it right into the brown shade so that it just just look cute I mean I got highlighter all over my cheek but oh that's so pretty and as you can see I'm taking the brush and I'm curving it to my eye just because this is how I want the shadows to flow I want them to go to the side so I'm taking my brush and when I'm placing that highlighter I'm just curving it into those warm shades so now I'm going back in with my Morphe 506 brush. I have no products on this brush and I'm just going to blend that gold into those warm brown shades. Honestly, you can really just tweak this. Like if you really wanted to make it smoky, you could just add more brown on the outer corner. But I want to make this very wearable, everyday type of look. So you're not gonna smoke it out, even though your girl is hella tempted. Okay, so the shadow's pretty much done for the most part. Like I said, super easy. Now, I'm definitely thinking that for the liner, I don't wanna do anything too intense. Maybe work with a little shadow liner. Let's dip right back into my palette, and we're going to go ahead and take the brown shade here, these two brown shades. Honestly, this whole row is what we're working with today. So we're gonna work with these two here to smoke out a little bit of liner and i'm just going to take an angle brush i don't really know the brand of this i think this is from bh cosmetics but the label was wiped off so i'm going to go ahead and focus this on my outer corner and just create a wing liner so you start by laying the dark brown shade first and then you go in with the lighter brown shade over top to just blend it out take this off so I can get a better idea of what's going on here Ooh. okay that looks good so as you guys can see I really just focused it on the outer corner of my eye I don't really have much going on on the inner corner here what I'm gonna do is take my cover girl get in line liquid eyeliner this is actually a brown shade I don't use this too often but I thought that this would be perfect for this look since we're doing like something that is more warm tone bronzy with gold you know perfect for summer so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop a very very thin line Okay, so it definitely looks better when you do the liquid liner first and then go back over it, smoking it out. But I find that stamping down the shadow first kind of just helps you to create that area for your wing liner, especially if you're just not that good at doing wing liner. Um, so definitely try that out to see whatever works best for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye and then I'm going to come back on camera. Okay, so now that I have it on both eyes and I'm obsessed with how these eyes are looking, I'm going to go ahead and pop on some mascara. This is my Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. It just makes my lashes look so good, y'all. Especially like the bottom lashes. 
So I'm just gonna pop these on real quick. All right, you guys, so I popped on my lashes and these are my favorite lashes from Tati. These are the TL3 lashes. They kind of look a little janky because I'm not gonna lie, I don't have the proper case for them and they just been like chilling on my desk here. So yeah. Um, but let's move on to the face makeup. Oh, I'm obsessed with the eyes. So let's get this face nice and glowy to match with our glowing summer eyes. So for this look, I definitely want to do something that is super hydrated and glowy. So I'm going to go ahead in with two products. I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC strobe cream and I'm going to work this on the skin. Basically, the strobe cream is like a luminizer and it just creates this really pretty glow to the skin. I already have moisturizer and everything like that on, so this is just kind of like, well, added moisture, added glow. Um, like, I just, I love the way this looks. I'm going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. Putty Primer. I actually just picked this up yesterday, and I'm so excited because this guy looks so good. Like, I paired it with my Fenty Foundation when I did yesterday's look, and I was just like where have I been like why am I just now trying this out so I'm really just gonna focus this where I have the larger pores which is really just in my t-zone area um, and I didn't get the mattifying one I got the sheer one I forget what it said on the packaging but I feel like this one has just like a little bit of hydration to it which is perfect because even though I do have oily skin I don't like to be super super matte because I have dehydrated skin so I get like these dry patches and just doesn't make my makeup look good so yeah but these two together like can we just talk about it my skin looks good okay, so for foundation I'm using my Fenty Pro Filter hydrating foundation in the shade 230 I'm gonna take this guy on a sponge I'm just gonna pump this on the back of my hand and just pop those on If you guys have combination oily skin like myself, or if you even have dry skin, you're going to freaking love this foundation. Even though this is a hydrating foundation, one thing I can say is that it definitely doesn't make you feel greasy. It doesn't make you feel super oily throughout the day. The coverage is definitely buildable, um, and it's beautiful. It really just makes your skin look like the best version of your skin. And that's why I've been loving this recently and something that I always like to explain to my clients um, even like my skin clients that have concerns with like you know their foundation becoming super oily throughout the day when you put too many mattifying things on your skin sometimes your skin gets tricked into thinking that it's dry so it mass produces oil because that's all it can make our skin does not create water so it just pumps out so much oil. So when you actually put things that are a little more hydrating on your skin sometimes, it actually benefits your skin and your skin's like, oh, okay, like, you know, absorbing its natural oils, it's well balanced and it's not, you know, dried out. So I'm loving how the foundation is settling on my skin, but we definitely gotta get some warmth back into the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Juvia's Place Shade Stick in the shade Jack Mel. And I'm going to basically cream bronze my skin. I don't necessarily say contour because I don't find that this is a contour shade. This has more warmth to it, so it's just going to add more bronzy warmthness to my skin. <laughs> Okay, so I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm just concealing my under eye area. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye with my Derma Blend powder and then set the rest of my face. To set my cream bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Wet n Wild bronzer. This is in the shade What Shady Beaches. This is like my perfect summer bronzer shade right at the moment and I cannot stop using this guy. Cause that's the look we're going for. We want to look sun kissed and golden even though we just been inside in quarantine for Lord knows how long. 
So I absolutely cannot stop using this palette, you guys. Like, I just, I love this palette. The blushes and the pigmentation in this palette are just so amazing. This is the Juvia's Place of the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And I'm going to be taking Yara and Tau, which is this brown warm shade and this peachy shade and I'm gonna mix those two together and pop them on my cheeks. I'm gonna take Yara first and I'm gonna actually use it more as like a topper for my bronzer because it does have more warmth to it and this is gonna really help us get that bronzy look to our skin and then I'm gonna take a little towel room, pop that on the apples which is that peachy shade. Oh, so we just out here looking like peachy little goddesses. Before we get into the glow, <laughs> because that's my favorite part, let's finish up the eyes real quick. Super simple. We're just going to go ahead and drag the same brown shades in the waterline. So I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil brush and dip back into this shade right here. And I'm just going to drag that underneath and take my M506 brush and take the warmer shade, which is just a little bit lighter than this shade here. I'm just gonna take this and drag it underneath. I love this brush for underneath the eyes, you guys. It's so simple. It just fits right in there. Like, you just, it's effortless. And I just, my Morphe brushes are my favorite brushes, man. Morphe has never failed me and they're so affordable. If you guys would like me to do like a video on my favorite brushes that I love to use, definitely let me know. I could get that video out for you guys. All right, we got options, honey. We got options <laughs> because there's so many different routes we can go with this. The ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Call Me, which is a beautiful brown. And then they also have a rose gold color, which I think could be really pretty, but I'm not sure like if it's gonna show up the way I want it to. So let's just do the brown. Let's do both. Let's just do both. All right. Let's just do both. I'm gonna focus the brown in the waterline on the outer corner. Take the rose gold liner and we're gonna pop that on the waterline but on the inner corner just to see if it just like, you know, makes your eyes pop a little more. So I just like dragged it down here just a little bit. It's cool because we're gonna go ahead and put a little highlight shade on the inner corners to make that inner corner pop. That bad girl bang mascara, pop that on the lower lash line. Well, popping this rose gold liner on that lower lash line just, it just gave me all the bronzy summer golden vibes. Like I just, it, it's the only deal with this liner. All right, babes, so for highlight, we're dipping right back into that Juvia's Place Neferidi highlighter, that perfect golden highlight, you guys. I'm just gonna pop this onto the cheeks. Ooh, that was a little too much. Like I said, it, it, it gets a little crazy, so you gotta tap it off, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Ooh. Ooh. I know I said too much, but that looks good though. <laughs> okay, I, I kinda like it. I like too much. Definitely a true gold highlight, you guys. I got so excited putting on the glow, almost forgot about my lippy. So for the lips, I'm gonna be taking my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF3. This is a beautiful brown shade, very universal. And for lipstick, I'm taking my CoverGirl 24 Hour Matte. This is in the shade 610 Hustler. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that because I don't wanna try to pronounce the other part. <laughs> Not a huge, huge fan of the scents of these, but they feel so good on the lips and they look so pretty. So now time for gloss. I'm taking my Laura Cosmetics Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Angel. So dipping back into the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take that white shade and pop it in my inner corner. She literally did that with the shadow. Like this shade is the best inner corner highlight ever. Like so beautiful. Brow bone too. All 
All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed creating this beautiful, summer, glowy, soft, glam look with me. This is gonna be perfect for when we are allowed back out into the world and we can go show off our bodies and show off our skin. We gonna be hitting them like, hey, all right. But no, for real, like this look, it's always like the soft glam looks that really just had me feeling myself. I just feel like the best version of myself. I feel like my natural features are more enhanced. Just not a whole bunch of different colors and a whole bunch of cut crease and glitter and everything going on. Like I just love that I can see myself and I look beautiful and I feel beautiful and that's why I wanted to create this video for you guys so that it's something that is easy for you guys to recreate at home. If you guys really enjoyed this look, definitely give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!